Hey everyone, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna answer the question of whether DigitalOcean app platform supports scale to zero auto scaling. So I build a lot of projects. Most of them get very little traffic, but I build them anyway, cause I enjoy it and I like sharing them. Now to make this sustainable, I have found ways to host lots of projects cheaply. This allows people to see them without me having to pay for them when no one is looking, which let's be honest is most of the time because I don't get that much traffic. Now my general approach to this has been to leverage serverless container cloud options that scale to zero. This allows me to build my apps like I normally would while only paying when people are actually using them. In fact, this is how I've hosted this site for less than about a dollar per month for the past several years. And I like this over um, serverless container, or sorry, serverless functions. And I probably need a whole like video on this, but I like serverless containers over functions because you can actually just build your apps like you would if you wanted to move to dedicated. And this is very useful in a lot of ways. One, just performance wise, you're not having to deal with the overhead that functions have, which are just nano services, which you don't need nano services. Two, because it's literally just like a server, like you're literally building it the way you would, there's a clear path to scale, right? Like if you actually hit scale, this is something you could actually deploy and turn into like an enterprise. Like I would really never make my enterprise company rely on functions. That's ridiculous. Um, I would instead build a bunch of servers. And so this is basically how you would build them anyway. And so you can kind of learn those skills. You can do that and it's easy. The second one is it's, or the third one, it's actually portable. And this is really, really good because vendors love to lock you in. Um, and that's not what they do with functions and containers doesn't provide that. So in my opinion, easier, better software with serverless containers and you can basically get the same DevX for that. So why not? And so I've had pretty good success with this. This approach has enabled me to build and host the dozen or so experiments I build every year without racking up runaway cloud bills. Now, recently I've been experimenting with hosting projects on DigitalOcean. And in this post, we're gonna explore whether DigitalOcean's app platform actually supports auto scaling with scale to zero. Okay, scale to zero auto scaling. So both auto scaling and scale to zero are important cloud attributes for how I build and host projects. It is not useful for me to only have one. I need both for my creations to be sustainable. So scale to zero is important because it allows my apps and compute to go to zero when no one is using them, which for me is, you know, most of the time. And so this allows me to save a lot of money um, while still giving people the experience I want um, when they want to hit my projects. Now, auto scaling is useful because it allows my apps to sleep and wake up by themselves. And this makes scale to zero operationally feasible for me across my pro my dozens of projects. And this might seem super simple, but I really think it's important because it's very, very hard to find a cloud host that actually offers both of these. So we can imagine that if we have scale to zero, but not auto scaling, this doesn't work. And actually most cloud platforms, they do offer scale to zero, um, but it's not auto, which means it's actually too complicated, too hard um, to do this for you to actually be feasible. And this is because you're gonna have to build your own infrastructure for listening to requests and then to like wake it up, put it to sleep, which is gonna cost you more, you know, complexity for you to build because they're usually not gonna offer the thing out of the box. Um, and so usually it's just not possible. The other option is that they provide auto scaling, but they don't allow scale to zero. Um, and this is very, very common where the minimum instance is one because they always want you to be giving them a drip of money, even if um, you're not really using it. And so they'll offer auto scaling one to N, but they will not offer zero to one, which again, for my projects where I don't wanna have to pay for them because there's only like two people looking at it at a day. So 99% of the day is wasted money. Um, I don't want that either. So does DigitalOcean app platform support scale to zero auto scaling? So finding this answer was actually kind of hard. It's not really directly mentioned in any official docs or any correspondence blog posts about their auto scaling. Um, there's no like clear answer in any of the forums or on Reddit or anything like that. And so to figure this out, I went into the dashboard for one of my projects that's currently running on DigitalOcean app platform, um, Travel Map, as you can read more about how it's built here, and tried to set up auto scaling and scale to zero for that because you know it's not getting very much traffic. Um, I'm paying on the lowest tier, $5 a month, but still 99% of that compute is not being used because nobody uses it. And so here's what I found. First thing is that only pro accounts can use auto scaling. So I'm on the cheapest, um, thing here, $5 per month. I'm on basic, which is the only way to get the $5 um, per month thing. And you can see that we containers is grayed out. And this is because auto scaling is not available for, for basic. You must be on pro, um, which the, the base is $12 per month in order to allow auto scaling. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that once you move to pro, you can see I'm on the, the cheapest here, which is $12 per month. 
you do get the ability to choose more containers, but you cannot set your containers to auto scale. And this is because these, they don't enable auto scaling unless you have a dedicated instance size of $75 per month or more, which for like side projects is way overkill, especially for one service. And finally, if we actually go up to that $75 per month to see how we can auto scale, and we can see that we now have options for auto scaling here. And here it's one to four, but we can see here that we cannot go below one. This is grayed out, um, which means that we cannot get scale to zero because the minimum is one. And so the takeaway for this is really that, you know, you can only auto scale on an app platform for pro deployments, which means $12 minimum um, per service because, you know, it only allows one uh, app per box. Auto scaling is only available for large instances. So those costing over $75 per month, which we see here is four gigabytes RAM, one dedicated vCPU, which is really overkill for anything that's like only getting a few things or a few hits per day. And that scale to zero is just not possible because the minimum container is one. Next. So I still like DigitalOcean's app platform. They have great ergonomics. And if you're running apps that get constant traffic, then it can be far cheaper than the alternatives. I compared it with it against Google Cloud and I got two to nine X savings um, for if it's always on. The problem is that my apps are never always on because I don't get that much traffic. Um, and so, you know, if you are having an app that gets significant traffic, then this could be savings for you. Um, so that's something to consider. But for me, it doesn't quite do what I need. It just doesn't offer the scale to zero auto scaling that I need uh, for my projects to be sustainable long term. So for these reasons, I'll probably be going back to Google Cloud Run and searching for other alternatives for my side projects. Question for you is how are you hosting your apps cheaply at scale? I'm always on the lookout for better options, new paradigms um, and stuff because I really don't want to have a burning hole in my pocket from projects that nobody's using. If you like this post, you might also like how I host my server side rendered F sharp site on Google Cloud for less than $1 per month, which is talking about this site, hammy.xyz. I'd also be interested in how this developer side project racked up a $100,000 cloud bill on Netlify and five ways to avoid the same fate. And if you're just interested in how I build side projects, you might be interested in why you should choose HTMX for your next web-based side project and ditch the crufty multi-page application and complex single page application. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.